Oh, sorry. <clears throat> Volume was down. Hi, everybody. How are you? Jack Vale here. As if you didn't know that. Um, all right. Well, so I was supposed to do this uh, this yesterday, but the day before that, I ran a little thing for about an hour or so, and it was that if you ordered a pooter, uh, how come I don't have a pooter here? Got one. If you ordered one of these, I would call you the next day. Uh, and I've, I've got your names and numbers right in front of me right now. So uh, that's what a pooter is. For those of you that don't know, you all know. And um, I'm about to make these, these, um, these phone calls. So let's do it. I said it would be live on the air. Here we go. Okay, what do we got here? Hello, Lisa and... Um, who else do we got here? Billy, is that right? Um, and, uh, oh my goodness. Okay, look at this. Look at the people. Look at the people. This is great. Farting in church. I get that one a lot. People say I should do farting in church. Um... With that text thing somebody says, has anybody ever sent you a real fart? No, not so far. They've done it, but not through the text thing. Whoa. What was that for? Oh, you're just putting it in here? Okay. All right. So, uh, hey, thank you for saying that my farts are funny. Um, good night from Italy. Wow, Adriano. How are you? Look, you got, a, you got an Italian name and everything. You are from Italy. Adriano Moretti, Moretti, Moretti. Did I do it right? Adriano Moretti. I even try to do the fingers, the hand things, you know, with the hand movements. Um, look at this from Italy. How about that, Lisa? Are you seeing this? Adriano's on here from Italy. Hey, listen. I, Carmen was, you know, he was an Italian guy. Well, he's a Sicilian. Carmen was, uh, never mind. See, I got this ADD problem, and I go from one thing to the next so quick, I can't even finish a thought before moving on to the next one. But I was just going to make a reference to being Italian. Um, talking to Carmen was kind of, I don't want to say intimidating, but you knew that he was in the room when you were in there with him. You knew he was in the room, that's all. Um... Oh, let's, let's get this, let's get this thing started. Okay. You ready? Oh, by the way, the network is live. That's a pretty big deal. Folks, you can watch the unveiled network right now from the comfort of your own living room. And you don't even have to pull out your phone. You can turn on the TV and watch it. You just got to have Apple TV or Roku or Amazon fire or whatever. And you can do it from the mobile devices. You can do it from your um, iOS or Android or whatever. And um, it's go it's going to be fun to watch this thing grow because I am passionate about family-friendly comedy. I miss those days where the family could sit around the TV together and watch good stuff. It was funny, maybe even a little bit edgy. You know, I'm, I'm a big fan of, like, The Sandlot. Back in the day, that was a good movie. Um... You know, but stuff that families could kind of enjoy together and talk about together. That's really my, my, uh, what I'm trying to do with the Unveiled Network. So I'm, I'm so excited about it. If you hear any noises in the background, by the way, it's just because people got here. So hang tight. I'm going to start making some phone calls here and, uh, let's see what we got. You ready? I'm going to, um, oh, let me make sure that the blue, my Bluetooth is on. It is. Make sure the Wi-Fi is on too. Here we go. Yes, Lisa, I got your message. And I did actually try to call him right before this broadcast. And it brought me to some Google voice message or something, just so you know. And uh, I had to leave like some kind of a message. But anyway, I'm going to try to give him a call 
Again, there's one person that did not want to be on the air. So I'm going to make sure that I don't uh, call them. Okay. Where is this? All right, all right. Here we go, here we go, here we go. So here we go. I'm going. This should be, yeah, this should be, I think, wait. Aha, uh -huh. okay, here we go. Here we go. Guy number one. Wait a minute. Ah, uh, hold on a second. Okay. Gonna try this again. I hate dead air. Yo. Keaton. Hello? Hey, Keaton. Who is this? Jack Vale. Jack Vale? Jack Vale. Uh, from where? From uh, Nashville, Tennessee. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if I know who this is. No kidding. You don't know who Jack Vale is? Can't remember. Can't remember? Oh, shoot. Oh, my gosh. No way. Never mind. Boy, that went from like... No zero. That Boy, that you changed really quick. What was it that sparked uh, something in the old memory there? I don't know. I just freaking remembered YouTube and stuff. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> well, didn't you just buy a... You just bought a pooter like two days ago, didn't you? Yeah, I did. Okay. <laughs> Still didn't put it together, huh? <laughs> yeah, like it took me a second. Like I heard Jack Bell and I was like, wait. Like I for some reason I thought you were like um someone from my church or something, but no. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, got it. No, I, I you may have not even ordered the pooter for this reason, but I, I um did you know that I was gonna call you? Uh uh. I had no idea. No way. I bought so it because I was just a big fan. Oh, that's awesome to hear. So, but let me let me explain. So, you're you're live right now on Facebook because a couple days ago, I did a live uh, or not on Facebook. I'm sorry, on YouTube, and uh, right. I said whoever buys a pooter within this hour of time frame, I'm gonna call every single person. And I guess coincidentally, you just happened to not see the broadcast, but still bought oh a pooter in that God. hour. So that's awesome. I literally had no idea. <laughs> that's funny. Shoot. Yeah, I'm a big fan, bro. You make, like, really funny videos, bro. And I just thought Thanks. I might as well buy a pooter. And it's like, oh, no, I just wanted to make my own stuff on TikTok and stuff like how you do. Oh, dude, I, I hope you will. And I, I hope you uh, send me, like, a link to it or whatever. Oh, yeah, I would love to. So, yeah, me and my brother are uh, big fans of you. Oh, and great. I've been a subscriber for quite a while. Awesome. Well, cool. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. And I'm glad. Uh, I'm glad we got a chance to chat here. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you as well. I'll talk to you soon. All right. See All right. Bye-bye. <laughs> I'll tell you, when it goes from who? Wait a minute. Who? Jack, who? Who is this? Who is this? After like five minutes of trying to explain. And then once he figures it out, oh, I'm a huge fan. I'm a real, me and my brother, <laughs> we're really big fans. <laughs> <laughs> we're such big fans. It took me a very long time to connect the name with, uh, okay. So anyway, here we go. Calling the next person, <laughs> call the next person on the list. You ready? Hey, I know this guy. I know this guy. The name, I should say. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Uh, 
<laughs> Lisa. <laughs> Look at Lisa, I just got your text. <laughs> I know, me too. Hi, this is Jason with Vaughn Properties. I can't take your call right now, but if you leave your name and number, I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks and have a great day. Darn it. I really want to talk to this guy too. Hey, Jason, I missed you. This is Jack Vale. So sorry, buddy. Um, I was really looking forward to, to uh, calling you specifically. I saw, I saw you on the list here, and I'm like, oh, good. I get to talk to Jason. Anyways, this is live. It's not, not a very good call, though, because I didn't get to talk to you, so people are going to be bored with this voicemail that I'm leaving. Uh, but, you know, um, I'm glad you did it, and um, I'm sorry that I missed you, but um, let's stay in touch. I enjoy our... Uh, tweeting back and forth and i'll talk to you soon okay buddy bye <sighs> all right here we go on to the next on to the next one you ready now we got this name looks familiar to me i don't know Here we go. Oh, great. What? Did you say what? Did you say what to me? Yes. Is this Misty Parker? I might be Layla McMahon. I don't know. Well, I'm. that's not the question. Is The question is, is it Misty Parker? It depends who's calling who I am. This is Jack Vale. Is it Misty Oh, yes, this is me. <laughs> <laughs> In that case, it is me. <laughs> that sounds like about every other call that I take from people. Is this Jack Vale? Hey, you know uh, I don't know. Well, I literally <laughs> scam bait people online all the time, so I don't know who's calling me. <laughs> See, it's like we were born in the same cloth or whatever you want to call it. I do the same thing. Okay, yes, this is Missy Parker now that you're calling and telling me who you are. <laughs> have have we ever spoken before? I don't think so. No, sir. Okay, well, so you bought a pooter the other day. I bought two pooters. Two pooters. <laughs> have you ever have you ever done it before? Or is this your first one? It would be the first one. Wow. Well, I appreciate your support and how nice of you. I have to... a nine year old that I think could have fun with it. <laughs> oh, that's great. Uh, that's great. I hope I hope he does. Is the second one for you? No, it's just a replacement in case we need it. Unless the <laughs> 19-year-old takes it. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, that's, what, that's what's great about these. These are good for 9-year-olds and 19-year-olds. Right? Yes. Yeah. And 39-year-olds. <laughs> it really is. And hey, 47-year-olds. I'm, I'm sitting here. Yeah, there you go. I take it everywhere I go. So. <laughs> I well, heard you the other night say you took your keys, your wallet, and your pooter. That's right. My keys, my wallet, yeah. my pooter. Just the necessities, and that's it. That's right. That's right. Um, have you been watching my videos for very long? Um, not too long, no. Oh, okay. I mean, I've seen a couple on there, and it's like, oh, man, i got to look this guy up some more. And then I just showed my nine-year-old the other day, and he's like, what does this guy do? I said, apparently he goes around with a booter on everybody. <laughs> you know, hey, everybody's got to have a job. <laughs> right? <laughs> um, listen, I would love it if you would check out uh, my new network started today. You can You can find it on... Roku, Apple TV, Amazon Fire, mobile devices, whatever. Just look up the the uh, Unveiled Network app. Okay. And uh, a whole bunch of my stuff is right there, and we're adding like 50 to 100 new videos every week. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for for uh, your support and for, for ordering while I, I, I ran this thing the other night. Yeah. I was just like, hey, I've been wanting to get one of them. I'm going to go ahead and do it now. <laughs> per perfect timing. Well, thank you so much, Misty. I uh, I don't think I'll get a better call than this. Hey, sorry for the rudeness. <laughs> <laughs> well, I love the fact that even before you knew who it was, you answered the phone saying, what? <laughs> <laughs> you never know, you know? <laughs> That's right. That's right. You can always back it off a little bit. You just don't want to be too friendly at first, you know? Yeah, right. I can always apologize for what I did wrong, but I can't. I can't just because I say sorry don't mean they're not going to do something wrong. <laughs> That's right. All right, Misty. Thanks again. I appreciate it. 
All right. I appreciate you. All right. Take care. Bye bye. Uh -huh, bye. That was a good one. That was fun. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> All right. We got another one here. We got a lot, actually. Um, oh, this one is, I think I recognize this as being Florida. Here we go. Hello. John? Yes. Jack Vale, how you doing? Not too bad. How you doing? I'm doing good, thank you. Just wanted to give you a call and say thank you for uh, for your support. You're welcome. Did you? Uh, what's that? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm driving right now. I'm trying to concentrate on the road. Hey, that's no. That's that's okay. Did you? Uh, did you just happen to buy a pooter a couple nights ago, or did you do it because? Oh, at, I, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I, I didn't recognize your name. Uh, who was talking at first? Um watching your podcast the other day and you know i just decided uh buy another one because okay. remember do you, i don't you probably don't remember what i told you what happened to my last one my little boy was getting annoyed by me <laughs> he he hid it from me and, <laughs> oh. and I never, I, after about a year i gave up on looking and uh, i was using it at that when i was in the hospital too i was in the hospital for a month i was using it when i was there and uh the nurses at first thought it was funny, but they were getting annoyed with me too. It's kind of fun. <laughs> wow. I'm so glad you were able to annoy people with the pooter in the hospital. It is so much fun. I can't wait wait to do it again. It should be here any day. Yeah, that's right. I, I believe it yeah. was it was sent yesterday or the day before. I can't remember. I, yesterday, I think. Yeah, it only takes like two or three days to get here. I think they said it should be here on the third. Yeah, are you in Florida? Nebraska. What's that? Nebraska. Oh, Nebraska. Okay, I thought this was a, a Florida area code. Sorry. Well, great, man. Well, again, I really appreciate yeah, it. I, 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 I text you a few times about coming to the College World Series. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you could make it. That would have been fun. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, that would be that would be amazing. Because be at the College World Series and or at the zoo, yeah. we have a world-class zoo here also. Yeah. Or at Nebraska Furniture Mart, which I think everybody's heard of that. Oh, yeah. Because even... Um, uh, what's his name uh, from the Kent Patrick Mahone he shops there and hey I'm losing you John John you still there buddy uh oh I think we lost John yeah maybe maybe next year you can come here for a World Series because I guarantee you'd have a for doing that I, I would love to, and I'm losing you. The connection's bad or something. Yeah, okay, hold on a second. Let me switch hands. How's that? Is that better? Why? Well, I, I think so. I might have been. Yeah. Um, the other thing that's really big here in Omaha is, is uh, uh, Warren Buffett. You know, from Berkshire Hathaway. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. He has a, he has a share meeting, uh, shareholders meetings here, and oh. uh, that'd be another great opportunity for you. <laughs> that is great. Is it? Do you know anything about Warren Buffett? What's that? Do you know anything about him? Oh yeah, he's a super nice guy. Is he? he, is he, is, it, he, he oh, go ahead. Is it true? Is it true that he's been like driving around in the same car for twenty years or something like that? Yeah, he. he well, he, he recently sold it, um, maybe five years ago. It was like a nineteen eighty or eighty something. Uh, I can't remember what kind of car it was. But I actually ran into him one day. I was uh, one time. I was going up uh, uh, one of the main streets and I saw this old man in the center aisle and looking at his car. So I pulled over, asked him if he needed some help and he had a flat tire. So I changed it for him and I didn't realize who he was until he drove off and he offered me money. I said, no, I just, just do something nice for somebody someday. I didn't realize who it was until, until I saw license, his license plate and it said thrifty on it. Then I knew it was Warren Buffett. Wow. <laughs> no kidding. Super, super nice. No kidding. He, he lives not that far from me. He, he lives in a really modest house. I really? mean, maybe a, maybe 1,200 square feet. Really? You know, he lives in the house his parents had when he was a kid. No kidding. And I, probably I, about five years ago, somebody tried to break in, and they got in the, in the house, 
and the security had him on the ground. <laughs> wow. He came I bet. in through the window and security jumped him. Wow. Yeah. That is but incredible. I, I think you'd have a lot of fun here in Nebraska at the uh, Nebraska and Furniture Mart or the College World okay. Series or even the zoo. The zoo is, I don't know if you, uh, you, you go to zoos a lot? Yeah, sometimes, yeah. Yeah. Um, my brother in law, he was, his family was in from San Diego and they had that really nice zoo there. And when they came here, they said, oh, ours is so much nicer. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. I, th- I think you'd really enjoy coming here. Oh, that's so great. Maybe okay. Next year for the College World Series, you can make a plan coming up. Yeah. And that... I can volunteer my help on, you know, maybe camera work or uh, uh, just helping out in any way. That'd be a blast. I'd really enjoy it. That's great. I'll put a star here by your name so that I know that you are okay. in Nebraska. And yeah. uh, I don't know if you've ever done any videos in Nebraska, have you? No, I've never even been there. Yeah. It's not like the way they talk about on TV. It's not this little, you know, cornfields. Every, well, we do have a lot of cornfields, but like Omaha is, you know, just like Kansas City, just yeah. smaller. Oh, wow. Not much. Okay. The way I look at it is there's Omaha, then bigger Omaha, which is Kansas City, and then bigger Kansas City is, is Chicago. Oh, okay. All right. But they're all pretty much the same. Wow. And I bet nobody yeah. else there can say that they changed Warren Buffett's tire on his car. No, probably not. <laughs> you know, you know I, my dad taught me a long time ago, you know, do something nice for somebody and, and things re- return to you. Yeah, I you agree. Know? I agree. I agree. That's great. Uh-huh. Well, thanks, man, so much. I appreciate your support, John, and uh, I'll keep you in mind when I get there. Okay, I appreciate it, buddy. You bet. Take care now. Yep, you too. Bye-bye. All right, bye-bye. Well, you, you know, you meet all kinds of people, talk to all kinds of people. That was the guy who changed Warren Buffett's tire on his car. No big deal, you know? Jonathan Goldner, thank you for your super chat, my friend. I appreciate your support. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And there's another one in here that I missed while I was on the phone talking to somebody. Let's find it. Thank you also to... Trying to get there. Oh, there it is. Bethany. Bethany Nichols. Um, Bethany says, I ordered a pooter last year. Too bad I can't get a call. Oh, well, Bethany, I'll look you up. Bethany Nichols. Um, Lisa, you have access to my uh, um, Shopify stuff. So look up, look her up. Bethany Nichols. N-I-C-H-O-L-S. And uh, send me her number I'll call so I can call her on the next uh uh the next one here. Okay, now we have somebody else. I oh my goodness. How do I pronounce this? I don't know. It's okay, we're going to figure it out. Okay. Hello. Hi, this is Jack Vale. Hey, Jack. Hey, how are you doing? Hey, all right. Wow, what a surprise. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, did, you, you did you know I was going to call you? I mean, I, I wasn't expecting. I thought, you know, maybe you have so many people that you have to call. And, you know, they're going to call me. So, but yeah, that's a surprise. <laughs> well, some people, some people prefer to not be on the air when I call. So they'll put, you know, they'll order and they'll put in the notes, please call me privately. So oh, some, yeah. some people, you know, I may have to call that, that aren't live, but um, I did want to call and say thank you for your support. And it, it means a lot to me when people do this because it, it says that they wanted, you know, they wanted to hear from me. So uh, I really appreciate that. Oh yeah, I appreciate. It. I enjoy you know your uh, YouTube videos, so I, I like you. You know, I like the shows, whatever is there. But I like it. <laughs> I'll try that puta, you know, see how it works. Good. Well, it should be there in a couple days. Awesome, awesome. All right, Jack. I really appreciate it. You know, it's a big surprise for me. You made my day. <laughs> oh, that's great. I appreciate it, buddy. God bless you, and and thank you again for your support. It means a lot to me. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Thank you. All right, you too, buddy. Bye bye. Uh, bye bye. I love this. This is so great. On to the next person here. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Eight, five. Darn it. 
Um, nothing I can do about that. <clears throat> okay, that was for David uh, Woodford. David, if you're on here, I'm sorry. I couldn't uh, couldn't couldn't reach you. That's the only thing about this that I always feel bad about is you call, you got all these phone calls to make to call um, fans and customers and um, sometimes, you know, they still don't expect your call or, or uh, whatever and they miss it. And then I get emailed later and I'm like, can you, can you try to call me back? Which I try to call people back too, but even that sometimes doesn't work out. Uh, hey, thank you, Lisa. Um, oh my goodness. That's perfect, Lisa. Bethany, I've got your number. I'll, I'm going to call you tomorrow when I go live again. Um, let me see. See, that happens sometimes, too. On to the next. Let's see what happens here. T-shirt. Guys, gotta see the whole thing. Please leave your message for. Yeah. Hello, Nicholas. Uh, this is Jack Vale. I am sorry that we missed each other, but I'm calling as promised. Um. Hope you are well. Really appreciate your support. Thank you for buying a pooter. And um, yeah, hopefully we will get to, to do this again. Okay, brother. Thank you so much. Bye-bye now. I would, be, I would be pranking some of these people, but they know it's me because they're expecting my call. Uh, here's another one. Still my favorite, I think, is who? Who is this? Jack who? Jack Vale. I don't know. Hello, this is Chris. Hey, Chris. How you doing? Good. How are you? Who's I'm, this? I'm doing good. This is Jack. Uh, Jack, Jack who? Jack Vale. Oh, hey. How are you? Hey, I'm doing good. Thank you very much. Good. Well, my, my, uh, my, four, my four little boys love your videos. Oh, it's, that's great. What, what's uh, the age range? Uh, they're 12 to 1, so I'd say the 12 to 5 was the uh, kind of the hard-hitting range in that space. Sure, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's that's great. You know, it's it's you know, I'll tell you what's really weird for me. It, that's always been a big age group um, for me. So I've been doing this since 2000, for about 14 years, and... Uh, What's strange is back then in 2007, these these 12 year olds are now, you know, like grown men with beards. <laughs> oh they're, yeah, they're coming up to me and they're like, uh, "Man, I've been I've been watching you, you know these these men with deep voices. I've been watching you since I was 12 or 13 or, you know, whatever." But <laughs> yeah, I've got five kids too. My oldest is uh, 25 and our youngest is 11. So we got a big age range too. Yeah, the, well, you know what? It's it's funny. My kids last night I got an email from someone saying, "You know, Jack Bell's going to call you," and I was like, "What is this?" And then, uh, and I looked at, I was like, "Oh man!" I looked it up, but I didn't realize you did live things. So uh, very interesting. Uh, you you know your work is it is really funny. It, the stuff <laughs> the stuff you do cracks me up too. Uh, they bring it to me quite often and show it to me. So uh, you know, kudos to the work you're doing. It's good stuff. Well, thank you, brother. Um, I appreciate that. Yeah, 
the, the videos they like the best are the leg up ones. I'll tell you at Walmart. Um, okay. They are looking forward to trying that themselves, which I'm not sure how well that will, will go. Um, yeah. You know, <laughs> we go up to New Hampshire a lot and then we try it there. Said, <laughs> okay. We'll see guys. I was like, it's a lot better. You're doing it than me. Yeah. Right. Uh, <laughs> So anyway, now where do you, where is the area you live in? We're in, we're close to Nashville, right at, right out on the outskirts, Tennessee. Nice. That's the place I need to go sometime. That's not somewhere I haven't been. I just got back from the Caribbean for the last two weeks. And it uh, wow. seems like there's a lot of people from Nashville down there. Yeah, we have a house down there. So we are just down there. Got back last week and I live up outside of Boston. So Oh, great. Well, we're, yeah. we're actually, we're actually from California. We moved here three years ago. No, nice. So, uh, nice. yeah, yeah, we love it. Kind of miss the beach though, but um, I'm sure. Yeah. Well, well, thank you again, man. I thank you for your support. Please tell your your boys I said hello. I will. And that uh, yeah, keep making those videos. They they think they're hilarious. I think uh, was I think it was you that walked into the the, the it was all aside from the leg up ones. Was it, was it the massage parlor or the one when you went into a? I, I don't know. They were getting. Um, their nails done or something like yes, that and then walked yeah. out yeah, yeah. oh yeah. god that even me they showed me that i was like that was the best i've ever seen because that <laughs> is like classic what i see around here and i was like oh fantastic. wow <laughs> yeah oh yeah. that's that's one of my that's one of my favorite ones such a, cl- a quick clip but just listening oh. to us you know laughing in the car driving away like a bunch of little kids you know was fun for me hey. That's what makes it. That makes it best. You know, you, you, and uh, I don't know if you've seen that guy Ross, Charles, uh, Ross, Ross Creations, are hands down the favorite in this house. Oh, uh, that's we'll see some funny stuff. Well, that's uh, awesome. Good, good to hear that. Thank you so much. Hey, you know, keep on doing what you're doing, and uh, you know what? Maybe I'll see you in Nashville one of these days. All right, Chris, sounds good, buddy. Thank you. Have a great day. You too. Bye-bye. Good talking to you. Bye bye. All right, we're gonna go to. James. Hello? Yeah. Who, who, who is this here? This is uh, Jimmy Davidson. Is this Jack Rail? Yeah, it is. <laughs> I I ought to know. I ought to know better. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> I should have kept going. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. I just got through telling everybody on this live uh, broadcast here that it's it's really kind of hard to to prank the people that are expecting calls. You know. <laughs> yeah, it's worth a, it's worth a shot. That's right. Let's do. <laughs> well, I wanted to I wanted to call and say thank you. I'm I'm trying to call everybody on the list, and and uh, you were on there, so thank you for calling during that during that hour. You're welcome very much. Like I say, it's my second one I've got. I wore the other one out, and I've got a cousin I work with, and I just get him all the time. He's sixty. You need sixties in the domain. The years apart, he literally cried laughing, and I just, <laughs> <laughs> that's unreal. <laughs> Never uh, seen a grown man like that. <laughs> that, that <laughs> that's, my my dad was like that. My my dad, uh, well, he was actually my stepdad, but I, I, um, I considered him to be my dad, and he died when he was 94 in the hospital wow. beds, and it was, I'll tell you, it was fart jokes all the way up until the end. It's just the way he was. I always thought it was funny. That's cool. Yeah, that's right. Well, th- I, I got one. Like I say, I just want to. I want to keep doing myself in the Walmart, but I think my wife Teresa she'd probably kill me. But I think I might try it. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. That's great. That's cool. Well, good talking to you, James. I I really appreciate your order and support for what I do and everything. Yes, sir. I love the videos. Thank you, Jack. Appreciate you, brother. Thank you as well. Appreciate you. Talk to you later, James. All right. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <sighs> Have I said recently that I love what I do? I love what I do.
Next on the list is... John. Another John. Another John. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Darn it. Darn it, darn it, darn it. Oh, here we go. This is a good one. This is a good one, everybody. Wait. This is a good one. What a great excuse to talk to somebody I've been wanting to talk to. Uh... Oh, look at this. It's, it says maybe so-and-so actually has her name as I type the phone number in my phone. Phones are smart these days. Um, this is, uh, well, no, I'm not going to tell you. We'll just let the conversation unravel as it may. Here we go. Your call has been forwarded what? to an automated voice messaging system. Amy? Who's Amy? She's not answering. She's automatically. What? Hold on a second. Your call has. Oh, well, uh, Lisa, that was Amy Hargrove. I really wanted to talk to her. Um, you can imagine why. So, uh, maybe Lisa, why don't you, why don't you, uh, maybe send, shoot her an email or something like that. Maybe she doesn't, maybe she doesn't, I don't know. She just didn't answer because of the, I don't know. I don't know what to think. I don't know. But, uh, maybe just shoot her an email or, or something. I'm going to keep, I'm going to keep going. Ready? Thank you for calling the office of Kruger and Associates. Our office hours are Monday through Thursday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., and we are closed on Fridays. If you know your party's extension, you may dial it at any time. If you wish to reach Sissy, please dial 221. Johanna, 235. Leah, 322. Jamie, 232. Or Kevin, Two two six. I bet he's like out of the office now or something. Okay, uh, all right, let's see, what do we got, we only got, okay, we, here we go, we only got one more right now, here we go.
Please leave your message for seven. That's it, folks. Um, I'm going to stick around here for a few, but uh, that is that is it. Look at this. You know what I'm going to do? Let me see. I still, I really still want to call. I'm going to give, I'm going to give Amy one more shot tonight. And if I can't reach her tonight, then we will do it tomorrow. Now it's now it's ringing longer. So she was pushing it over to the voicemail, but now, okay. Your call has been for. All right, all right, Amy. We'll call you another time. Um. Uh, Daryl, I did. I literally just, uh, <laughs> look, I just called you. Look, I'm going to try again right now. Daryl, this is, this is your phone ringing. Daryl's writing. He says, I got a message from Lisa that you were going to call me tonight. See him in the comments here? This is his number right here. I can't. I can't call you if you, if you don't pick up. Oh, great. Exactly. Please leave your message for 7-1. Shoot. Sorry, Daryl. Uh... Hey, JD, how you doing, man? Good to see you. Good to see you on here. Trey Herzog, how you doing, buddy? Look, Daryl's saying it's not ringing. I'm going to try one more time, okay? I'm going to try one more time. And then if this doesn't work, we're going to have to do it another time and just figure out maybe what's going on. Look at your phone in case the ringer's off or... Something like that this time and see if, you know, if you can see it. This is, Daryl, this is me calling you right now. Please leave your. I don't know what's going on, Daryl. I can try again. Uh, Lisa, or excuse me, Daryl, hang on one second. Lisa is checking your number to make sure that we have the right number. So hang tight. Hang tight. In the meantime, want to see a really cool but kind of creepy video? Check this out. Uh, this is called the webcam spying video. And so we figured out a way to spy on some... Uh... Daryl, I'm sorry... Um... It's, it is the number that's registered with Shopify, so I'm not sure. You can respond to um, Lisa if you want to with a separate phone number, but that's the number that, was, that we have from, from, the, uh, from the order. So <clears throat> maybe you could work that out with Lisa and reach back out to her uh, via email since she emailed you already. Okay, so watch this. This is called 
the webcam spying prank. And I had a little fun with um, a really good friend of mine and um, my cousins. And uh, I think you'll get a kick out of this video. <laughs> Oh, the old intro. Hey everybody, Jack Vale here. Every time I turn around, there's something else in the news about the government spying on us. And hackers can even hack into your webcam and spy on you in the privacy of your own home through your own computer. I decided it might be fun to put this to the test, so I'm going to go spy on my own friends and family members today and see how they feel when they find out someone is watching them. Oh, this is so good. Okay, we're live. Okay, we're in. She has no idea. We're hacked into her webcam. Chris, I've never seen that room before, so I have no idea where he is. He's like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call him. I hope he has his phone. If he doesn't have his phone with him, this is gonna screw it up. He's got his phone. Jack. Hey, buddy, how you doing? <laughs> Good. Where, where are you? Yeah, I'm in home. Yeah, I'm in Idaho. Oh, you gotta try something different, man. Something like some kind of a brand name product for your lips. What? <laughs> Stop biting your nails. Oh. <laughs> Should we put the cap on? Yeah, I heard the uh, cap coming off or something, or the cap going back on or something. Write this down. Do you have a pen or something? Yeah, I should got one in my hand. That flower's a pen, isn't it? Isn't that flower a pen? <laughs> uh, I gotta stop this for a minute because Liz Berger uh, just sent an incredible super chat. Thank you so much, Liz. I appreciate that. Thank you for saying that. You always make me smile. Uh, keep up the great work. Liz, thank you. You are so sweet. I really appreciate that. And that's, I, that's really something. Thank you. That's that's a doozy, I suppose. Um, so thank you. I don't want that to go unnoticed. I, I really do appreciate that. That really, that's really terrific. Um, Christian uh, was blown away by this. So now I noticed that his pen was a flower pen. And here we go. Yeah, it is. How did you know? No what? That it was a flower pen. <laughs> Are you here? Are you here? You just turned a page. I saw. What are those? Ooh. Can you see me? Can you huh? see me? Just look at her. Can you see me? Can I see you? That's my cousin. What, what is that supposed to mean? You don't. That's my cousin need Ashley. To get on your knees. Just pick it up. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. Where you're pointing at that you just touched. Oh. You love that flower, don't you? How does that feel against your lips? <laughs> Why are you laughing? How did you know that? Dude, what is so funny? How did you know that I have a flower? <laughs> Jack, how did you know? How did you know I have a flower pen in my hand? <laughs> have an itch. Oh my gosh, Jack's freaking me out right now. So bad. Oh my god. <laughs> We're looking at you through your webcam, Christian. We're, lo <laughs> We're looking at you through your webcam. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, am I, what do I just do? What does that say? Laugh? In cursive? What it? it does. <laughs> you guys are doing a video? How did you do that? That is so creepy. How did you know how to do that? So does it creep you out that someone could be spying on you right now? Through all right, all right, all right. Isn't that great? So much fun. Um... Oh. Oh. Hold on, Daryl. Okay, ready? I think we got to the bottom of it, my friend.
How's this? Hello. Please state your name after the tone, and Google Voice will try to connect you. Harry Montgomery. No way. Hey, Daryl. <laughs> Sorry about that, How man. Doing, man. Thanks, Jeff. All good. Hey, man, we miss you in Orange County over here. Oh, man. Now, where are you in Orange County? Uh, I'm in Irvine, and uh, okay. my uh, my daughter and I just love you. I mean, I, uh, I we've taken the pooter to SeaWorld. We've uh, uh, we've taken it everywhere. I mean, it, <laughs> wow. so I had to get a spare car. You had to, you had to get an extra one. Yep, had to get an extra one. Got to have one in the glove box at all times. Plus, it gets warm in the glove box, so it works better. Yeah, that's great, man. Well, uh, Orange County will always kind of be a home to us for sure. We were in Huntington Beach for like seven years, I think, and and uh, we yeah, always. I remember seeing you on the pier. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. That was uh, gosh, you're gonna make me kind of kind of miss home. You guys go to Huntington very okay. often. Yeah, my brother lives there, and uh, okay. I, you know, I, I caught you there once, and uh, bought my first scooter years ago, and uh, this is the third one, and uh, I'd love to see you do some uh, some fart in church ones. You know that uh, you know Confucius say, a "Man who fart in church did in his own pew." <laughs> that's true. that's a good point. Yeah, that's right. I uh, <laughs> it's funny because for the longest time I was like, I I can't I I can't you know do a pooter video in church, but it seemed like everybody wanted one, and then. All of a sudden, there was this um, this switch or something like uh, pastors started pastors and, and youth pastors started reaching out to me trying to get that hooked up. You know, um, oh, that's awesome. So I guess with their blessing, that's it would awesome. be okay, maybe. I don't I don't know. Mariners, where we go, there's about six thousand people, so it'd be it'd be tough. But uh, out yeah. in the hallways and by the food stands and all that, it sure <laughs> would be fun. <laughs> yeah, I know Mariners really well. We've been there. Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. It is so awesome to, to see you and really enjoying the live, and uh, we'll definitely have some fun with the pooter. My daughter's 14 now, uh, and uh, and she gets mad at me for, for using it because she's a teenager now, uh, yeah. so I make sure to, to bring it uh, along with me even more to uh, embarrass her. So, <laughs> a lot of fun, and love what you do, man. I mean, what what a great what a great career, making so many people laugh. Like, what a joy to make so many people happy and to laugh every day. I mean, that's your job is, is making people laugh. I just, I can't imagine anything better, man. But it's, it's, mm. it's a blessing. Mm. Well, thank you. Cool. I appreciate that. I, I, I try not to take it for granted. I, I, um, I really love it. I really love what I do. And, and, uh, I love the messages from people and, and everything. Hey, let me ask you a question. How, how did you, um, how did you do out there for like for you because you've been in California for a long time, yeah? Yeah, forty four years. Wow. So how did I mean what was twenty twenty like? Just dealing with everything and and all the you know because things were pretty shut down for quite a while, right? Because we we moved actually at the beginning of the year. Um, right. So I mean, we technically moved to Nashville three years ago, but. We actually moved back to Huntington Beach in between that time for about six months. Um, right. So when we left again, it was right when things were starting to get pretty tightly uh, shut down. I, I think I want to say maybe January, February, something like that of last year. Was that hard? Yeah, we, it was tough. We, yeah. It was really hard. We were we were stuck in the house and, and quarantined and... I have a team in India that I work with and things started to get bad there. Um, mm. And so I, we just stayed away from it. But uh, my, my daughter was sharing a lot of stories about, you know, friends getting uh, depressed and suicidal and, and, and all of that because they were, you know, locked in. And so uh, I have to say that that's another area where your videos really shine. We did end up watching a lot of YouTube. And so, to have laughter in the midst of, uh, of, you know, terrible times, uh, you know, really makes a difference. So, uh, you know, again, I got to thank you for that. Wow. Thanks, man. I, I, that means a lot to me. Thank you. Appreciate that. Appreciate you, man. And, uh, and, and really thanks for calling me Jack. And, and I, I just, 
it's such an appreciation for what you do and and especially during these times when uh when there's a lot to be uh you know sad about with the pandemic uh you 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 bring light to uh to uh you know tough times so really really appreciate you wow thank you daryl that means a lot to me appreciate that thank you thank you for your support and and uh, everything let's stay in touch You got it. Thanks, Chet. All right. Take, take care. All right. You too. Bye-bye. Man. I I love I love that. I started to get kind of choked up there. Um, what a great I just love that so much. That's so cool. Uh you know, messages. Messages like that. That's why I do it. Um, Lisa, I was trying to call Amy Hargrove. Are we going to be able to get a hold of her? I, I guess not. But um, thank you, Liz. Liz Berger says, I agree. Thank you so much. Wayne. Is all of your farting videos make me laugh and cry so much. Look at this. Parent-teacher conference and where's Smashly Bug? Also, the singing tutor uh, prank. Singing? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the singing instructor. So we'll just, you just got to look that up. I think it's called the singing, what is it? Coach. The singing coach? Or something like that. Prank. Look that up. It's out there. It's definitely out there. Um, all right, guys. I uh, I love you. And I want to say I really appreciate your comments and everything. I did the best that I could. There's my network just uh, messaged right there to a link tree. You see that? Okay, thank you. Um and in that link tree that you see, it says, check out my new network. And the link is right there. And by the way, uh, actually, there it is. Right there. So you can see. The link tree thing is easy because it's just slash Jack Vale. And that'll give you direct links to everything that you need for Roku, Apple TV, Amazon, wherever you're going to download it. And um, you'll be able to watch the... Uh, uh, you'll be able to watch the network there. Look, watch it right now. Look. So that is, uh, that is it. Thanks, JT. JT says he's downloading the app on Play Store and will download it on Fire Stick. Awesome. It's fun to kind of find out, you know, where you guys are watching it on and what platforms and stuff. We're getting it kind of a mixture of, of, you know, everything. But I think the point is that it's so cool that you could just sit in front of your TV in your living room now and just, you know, watch these videos. You don't have to go to YouTube and, you know, be concerned about what's recommended or what pops up or what you play and you didn't mean to play. You know, everything on the Unveiled Network is family friendly and hopefully everything is funny. Uh, I think it is. And it's a process. This is a company that is going to grow over a period of time, by the way. So it is live now. You can watch these videos on demand. Um, and I got to tell you, we are going to be regularly uploading new content every single week. And it's going to be a lot. And it's going to be more categories and more, more content, more videos. Uh, and then pretty soon, it's not just going to be the app. It's going to be the TV network side of the app, which means TV network. 
The unveiled network is going to be where, you know, you're going to sit on your couch and get the clicker and you don't have to download an app. You could just go, oh, channel 2054, you know, and you, whatever. That's not going to be the number, but wherever you're going to go, you go, yeah, watch unveiled on this channel. You're going to be able to go there. It's going to be, it's really exciting. It's going to be all over the place. All right. I got to go. I love you guys. And I will see you um, tomorrow. I love you, and I will see you later. <laughs>